So maybe let's talk about what it takes to negotiate with somebody like Putin or, or Zelensky. Do you think Putin would be willing to give up any of the regions they already captured? I don't know. Uh, I can tell you that this, all of this would have never happened and it would have been very easy because you don't have, like that question wouldn't be asked. You know, that's a tougher question. Once that starts happening, because he has taken over a lot of territory. Now, I guess they're insurgents now too, right? So, you know, it's a little bit interesting uh, that that's happening and that it can happen. And it's interesting that Putin has uh, allowed that to happen. Look, that's one that should have should have never started. We have to get it stopped. Ukraine is being demolished. They're they're destroying a great culture that's largely destroyed. What do you think works better in those kinds of negotiations? Leverage of let's say friendship, the carrot or the stick? Friendship or sort of the threat of using the economic and military power. So it depends on who the person is. It's, uh, you know, it's, everyone's different. Negotiation's interesting because it depends on who the person is. And then you have to guess or know through certain knowledge, which is, you know, more important, the carrot or the stick. And with some people, it's the stick, and with some people, it's the carrot.